Hey YouTube, this is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You're watching Amatu Ray Killer HD, the ultimate Super Saiyan. Hakai. What's up, guys? It is me, your boy. I'm a Turek killer. Now, you guys might be noticing a little different. You know, like the stash is coming in. We got the trimmed sides. Look, look at the noise. Look at the noise. <laughs> so, what we got going on here, and a lot of you guys have been requesting this information. Give us an updated Bleed Team. I got you guys. Bleed Team SS. Maybe towards the end we're going to talk about an SSS variant or maybe for any, you know, mid to end game. More along the lines of free to play, we can see what could be at. Now, to see these god level stars, I just go to illustration and then I go to god evolve. That's it. I didn't get everyone to god. So, right ahead, right off the bat, we're going to start off and talk about... Now, these are going to be different variants, okay? Now, team one is going to consist of a different tank, a different support unit, one main supporter, and two damage dealers, okay? Now, with this team, okay, we could go ahead with the support and defending type in a sense of healer, okay? We're going to talk about that team first, and it seems like uh, a team that's like, uh, okay. So right off the bat, I would say either stick with your usual. Now we're going to talk about the defenders. I would say stick with your usual. Kid Buu, Cell, and then the other guy that seems to be more on the OP side, especially if you have these units on the field, is your boy Tien. Okay, he increases block stats, uh, percentage. And then when a, when a Justice, I think it's Justice, right? Or is it this one right here? Yeah, when a Justice... Is on the field they get unyielding the thing is if he's going to be in first spot i mean going up against any aoe type unit they're all going to get unyielding the only person that is unyielding on the team especially for a bleed unit would be jocko okay he is a justice unit and for a bleed team that's all you basically have so for the first team i would say going with tn jocko the next support unit is going to be someone that is fairly new, and it's going to be Rosie. Now, you guys might be just wondering why Rosie. Thing is, it's a new unit. I always like to incorporate new units if they're worthy. Okay, let's look at this. Let's look at this right here. So, first of all, heal reduction across the whole field on the enemy team, one massive plus. When releasing active skill, reduces 15% enemy damage for two turns that's be beautiful all right and if the HP of the target is higher increases that stat by 15% meaning it is 7.5% uh, higher than 15 so it's 22.5% third passive when releasing active skill increases damage of friendly unit targets by the highest attack by 30% meaning you want your main bleed damage dealer to get that attack stat boost which means more bleed stacking okay the more bleed that stacks the more damage that gets taken into effect the last passive is going to be vulnerability now i've tried looking at vulnerability i tried looking at vulnerability um in the sheet and everything else but i cannot seem to find what it exactly does uh, maybe I knew about this, but then completely forgot about it. So if you guys know in the comment section down below, definitely uh, set it up or just talk about it. And then one thing that's also very important is reducing hit percentage. This is why Cell comes into play. Um, Cell would be a very good unit to have. So, like I said, if you go with TN, Rosie, and Jocko. Okay, so these are your primary three for the healer side okay you could also go with kid boo rosie and jocko cell rosie and jocko but right now because of that nice little 
hit reduction, I would go with Cell, Jocko, and Rosie. And then for the dam the freaking damage dealer, it has to be Maja Vegeta. He has to be your main damage dealer source. And then as a secondary source unit that is pretty beneficial to the team is going to be Sorbet. Now the reason why Sorbet is he can petrify, he does bleed stacking to one unit and then to two units, I believe is the, uh, yeah, to two random targets. Does, does that petrify and then also convergence with evil or rebel, which is um, Maj Vegeta. And one thing you got to consider is his affinities are very easy. Everyone's affinity is pretty easy. Let me see Rosie's. Uh, Rosie's affinity, very easy. You guys should already have these units. Uh, Cell, you guys should already have these units. Jocko, same thing. Very easy. Now, this is the number two. And I call this... I call this the... The bleed team without a healer. And... I actually was just like looking over the units and I was like, you know what? I think one team that might be beneficial to have on the team, plus extra bleed stacking, is going to be a unit that we haven't seen in a while. And since every, many of you are in mid range of having, you know, many god stars on the team, you know, mid to end game, some of you can have SS, SS units and some others can have triple S units. So we're going to go right off the bat. We're going to get Cell. Okay, sells your defender. Okay, your secondary spot unit is gonna be Rosie. Okay, Rosie's there. Now we did say that we were not going to have a healer. Okay. Now this third spot unit is going to be Gohan. Okay. Now you might ask why Gohan. Okay, he does give. Bleed effects to two to three targets. All right. He does. Right here it says right here normal attacks come with bleeding. Heal reduction. All right. We already get heal reduction from Rosie. So this is just like a wash right there. That's fine. He gets combo. If he gets combo, that means more bleed stacking. The main primary source of this guy right here is his God passive. Okay. Normal attack renders damage taken by the target increased by 30%. Okay, this is the main god passive skill that we need to look at the 30%. Okay, he's gonna take 30% more damage. Rosie's gonna give 30% more attack to Maji Vegeta. If that unit's taking 30% more damage and you're doing 30% more attack, what does that entail? That entails that you're going to be doing more damage, which means more bleeding. Okay, that is what you need to take into consideration. Now, we always have Sorbet. Sorbet is the primary source to Maja Vegeta. Convergence, okay? So, Convergence will do that too. And so, basically, this team will look like this. You got Cell. You have Rosie. You have Gohan. You have Sorbet and you have Maja Vegeta. Now the thing is, with this, you probably want to put Kame and Iron Wall on Gohan. You might want to make him kind of like an off tank. The only main reason being why is for that God passive skill, okay? Or, you can have him being a damage dealer because of his combo, and then you can make Sorbet into a tank. You could do that, alright? Sorbet being a tank... You could put him as third spot. His petrify will do wonders if it works. Plus convergence. You know, I would think I was thinking maybe keeping him alive the most. So you could use convergence for Maja Vegeta and put him in fourth and Gohan in third. But with Gohan doing more uh, renders the target 30% more damage. I think that would be perfect. Then you could go with the classic two defenders, one support, two damage dealers. You could do that and you could use uh, Goku Black. Um, that's about it. And yeah, that is it for the SS Bleed updated team. Now, if you were into consideration, probably thinking about adding an SSS unit, okay? From the Hero Rescue, all right? Golden Frieza, right off the bat, you know, is one of the better bleed units uh, that could go well on the team. Thing is, you're not going to get that convergence with Maja Vegeta and Sorbet. 
Uh, you can add a healer to the team. You could probably run Cell, Vados, Rosie, Sorbet, and um, um, Sorbet and Manja Vegeta. Uh, for the free units for bleed wise, that might be the best bet. The other thing you could do is probably add go tanks to get that stun in the back, get the focus fire in the back. Maybe do um, maybe take out Gohan and put in go tanks and do um, who or or the other team. Uh, you could do Cell, Rosie, go tanks, Sorbet, Manja Vegeta, or if you want, you could do Cell, Rose, uh, Rosie, Super Saiyan three Goku. Sorbet and Majin Vegeta, you get that double convergence from Super Saiyan 3 Goku to Majin Vegeta, and then you get Sorbet, 50% convergence to Majin Vegeta as well. There you have it, guys. I cannot set up a team right here for fast team, or else I would do it like that. But the problem is, I do not have these units because I foddered them to my SSS units to get them to a higher star level. Uh, working on my sixth unit right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think would be a very good bleed team in the comment section down below. All right, guys, peace. Impressive.